Welcome back. Today, we continue to present the questions of the first part, Section F Technology and Analytics. Accounting Information Systems. Wiley. Follow the channel to receive all questions from multiple sources, old and new, until 2023. If you have any questions or requests, please write in the comments and you will be answered. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel to reach the largest number of people interested in the CMA certificate. Let's get started. Question 1. Suppose your organization uses separate financial and non-financial systems. During a routine audit, you find that there are several shipments that are never billed each month. Where would you most likely start to look to find the cause of this issue? A. Audit both systems and match transactions. B. Audit data transferred between information systems. C. Audit transactions created in the source information system. D. Audit transactions imported into the target information system. The answer is A. Audit both systems and match transactions. A lack of synchronization of transactions between disparate information systems can originate in either system or even in a failure in communication. The best method to identify incomplete transactions is to manually audit and match transactions between systems and analyze any identified gaps. Question 2. Spend analysis is conducted in which of the following accounting information system, AIS, cycles? A. Revenue to cash cycle. B. Expenditure cycle. C. Production cycle. D. Financing cycle. The answer is, B. Expenditure cycle. Spend analysis is conducted in the expenditure cycle, which consists of purchasing and procurement activities. Spend analysis is a strategic approach to spending amounts and profiles in private sector or public sector organizations. It is a process of analyzing an organization's spending levels, purchasing level, to develop a better picture of what and how much it is spending to make and sell goods or services. Spend analysis is a very useful technique during procurement of materials and services for the organization because huge amounts of money are spent acquiring materials and labor to make goods and to provide services to customers. Question 3. Accounting information systems will implement different transaction cycles in separate modules. All of the following basic exchanges would most likely be part of a retail company's AIS implementation except a. Expenditure cycle. b. Production cycle. C. Revenue cycle. D. Human resources slash payroll cycle. The answer is, B. Production cycle. During the production cycle, raw goods would be supplied by the expenditure cycle where the finished product would be handed over to the revenue cycle. In a retail business, goods would be processed by the expenditure cycle and provided directly to the revenue cycle for potential resell, eliminating the need for the module that provides services related to the production cycle. Question 4. What is the relationship between value chain and supply chain? A. A supply chain is the logical output of the value chain. B. Linking the output of one organization's value chain to the input of another organization's value chain creates a single link in a supply chain. C. A supply chain is a subordinate data flow to a value chain. D. A value chain is a subordinate data flow to a supply chain. The answer is B. Linking the output of one organization's value chain to the input of another organization's value chain creates a single link in a supply chain. Linking separate value chains can create a larger system involving multiple organizations, called a supply chain. Question 5. All of the following are benefits of AIS except a. Improves efficiency. b. Improves decision-making capabilities. c. Improves the recovery ability for disaster recovery. d. Improves the sharing of knowledge. The answer is, C. Improves the recovery ability for disaster recovery. This system will be more likely a candidate for disaster recovery and business continuity. Question 6. Which of the following is created after automating the accounting and finance functions? A. Accounting chain. B. Finance chain. C. Value chain. D. Technology chain. The answer is, C. Value chain. Automating the accounting and finance functions can create value chain because daily routine operations can become efficient, response delays are reduced, human errors are minimized, period-end closing work tasks are completed successfully, and periodic reporting is done on schedule. More time is available for data analysis and results interpretation and less time for data collection, data processing, data sorting, data aggregation, and data deaggregation tasks. Question 7. 
Processing accounts payable or accounts receivable transactions belongs to which of the following? A. Executive information systems. B. Accounting information systems. C. Management information systems. D. Decision support systems. The answer is B. Accounting information systems. Accounting information systems, AIS, focus on detailed business transactions such as paying bills, paying wages and salaries, and receiving money from customers. The AIS transactions go into accounting journals, subledgers, and ledgers. AIS focuses on operational information and departmental supervisors manage the inputs and outputs of the AIS system. Question 8. Explain how data shared between financial and non-financial systems, each with different data input domains, can lose precision and granularity during the exchange process. A. Larger input domain mapped to more limited input options. B. Transferring smaller input domains to a larger target domain compromises data precision. C. Exchanging data between information systems that use different databases routinely results in data storage incompatibilities. D. Different operating systems store data in different formats. The answer is A. Larger input domain mapped to more limited input options. Suppose a source system allows a state field to be any U.S. state, while the target system only allows southeastern states as valid data. Any state values coming from the source system that isn't from the southeast U.S. will have to be mapped to some other value, losing the granularity of the source data. Question 9. You have been assigned the role of project manager for the project to assess the viability of moving from separate financial and non-financial systems to a unified information system. After examining the challenges in maintaining separate systems, what is the most powerful argument for funding the effort to move to an integrated information system? A. Lower cost of operation. B. Smaller data footprint. C. Easier auditability of full transaction life cycle. D. Quicker transaction processing time. The answer is C. Easier auditability of full transaction life cycle. Processing and storing all data associated with each transaction's complete life cycle in a single information system provides more reliable auditing results to validate transactions. Question 10. In any organization, the completion of the first iteration of the Human Resources and Payroll Accounting Information System, AIS, cycle implies that at least which other cycles have completed? A. General ledger or production. B. Property or general ledger. C. Financing or revenue. D. Human Resources and Payroll or plant and equipment. The answer is C. Financing or revenue. To meet payroll financial obligations, an organization must have cash to fund paychecks. Necessary funds to meet payroll could come from either the financing or revenue cycles. Question 11. What is the most common noticeable impact of separate financial and non-financial systems to workflow when creating expenditure transactions for matching production activities? A. Lack of auditability. B. Delays, increased processing time. C. Increased data footprint. D. Data redundancy. The answer is, B. Delays, increased processing time. Workflows that involve multiple separate information systems generally require steps that must be carried out in each system, along with a delay while transferring shared data between systems. Question 12. All of the following are a function of an AIS, accounting information system, except A. Collect and store data. B. Transform data to aid in decision support. C. Provide controls to ensure that the data is available and maintains integrity. D. Recommend several scenarios from which to base a well-informed decision. The answer is D. Recommend several scenarios from which to base a well-informed decision. The purpose of an AIS is not to provide scenarios but to provide information for management to make a well-informed decision. Question 13. Which of the following are the major challenges in maintaining separate financial systems and non-financial systems? 1. Two sets of books. 2. Unsynchronized data. 3. Inconsistent results. 4. Conflicting decisions. A. 1 and 2. B. 2 and 3. C. 3 and 4. D. 1, 2, 3, and 4. The answer is D. 1, 2, 3, and 4. All four choices are correct. In the past, financial systems and non-financial systems were viewed as two separate islands with rigid physical and logical borders superficially built around them. 
It is like maintaining two separate books for the same organization, which resulted in data synchronization problems, inconsistent results, and conflicting decisions. Examples of major challenges in integrating financial systems and non-financial systems include cultural barrier, organizational turf protection, organizational politics, and lack of trust between the managers who are managing these two diverse systems. Technology is not the challenge or problem here as it can simply integrate these two diverse systems. Question 14. Why is an accounting information system, AIS, insufficient to enforce compliance with production cost budgetary limits? A. An AIS can only serve as a detective control and cannot stop expenditures before they occur. B. AIS transactions can provide complete auditing capabilities, but do not provide controls to limit transactions. C. Compliance with any limits requires controls that are beyond the scope of an AIS. D. An AIS imposes controls based on the organization's policies and is subject to the organization's tolerance to control exceptions. The answer is, D. An AIS imposes controls based on the organization's policies and is subject to the organization's tolerance to control exceptions. An AIS can enforce rules, but can always be overridden to the degree that management allows it. Only an AIS, with management's backing, can enforce spending limits. Question 15. What item below best describes the role of an AIS in the value chain? A. An AIS could connect an organization with the value chains of its customers. B. An AIS could connect an organization with the value chains of its suppliers and distributors. C. An AIS could connect an organization with the value chains of its distributors. D. An AIS could connect an organization with the value chains of its customers, suppliers, and distributors. The answer is. D. An AIS could connect an organization with the value chains of its customers, suppliers, and distributors. This is one of the key advantages of an AIS and its influence on the value chain. Question 16. What critical auditing capability is compromised when financial and non-financial transactions are handled by separate systems? A. Chronologically ordering transactions on separate systems. B. The ability to trace transactions throughout their life cycle. C. Balancing account debits and credits on separate ledgers. D. Providing transaction integrity for partial failures. The answer is, B. The ability to trace transactions throughout their life cycle. Analyzing transactions completely to identify any processing gaps requires access to all changes carried out throughout the life of a transaction. Processing that includes communicating across multiple information systems makes the process of tracing all data changes more difficult and less reliable. Question 17. How does an accounting information system, AIS, add value to an organization? A. Centralizing an organization's critical information. B. Identifying cost reduction opportunities in value chain activities. C. Collecting, analyzing, and presenting pertinent information for the primary value chain functions. D. Automating value transfer-based transactions. The answer is. C. Collecting, analyzing, and presenting pertinent information for the primary value chain functions. An AIS adds value by providing accurate and timely information to directly support efficiently and effectively carrying out the five primary value chain activities. Question 18. How can an assessor determine if a system that contains non-financial information can impact a system with financial data? A. The non-financial system and financial system are not logically separated within the network. B. The non-financial system and financial system are not physically separated within the network. C. The non-financial system and financial system are logically separated within the network, but users need special privileges to log in. D. The non-financial system and financial system are logically separated within the network, but they connect to the same ERP. The answer is, A. The non-financial system and financial system are not logically separated within the network. This is correct because non-financial systems and financial systems should be logically separated either by network segmentation or by firewall controls. Question 19. Depreciation amount is calculated separately and is then reconciled to which of the following accounting information system, AIS, cycles? A. Property, plant, and equipment cycle. B. Expenditure cycle. C. General ledger system. D. Production cycle. The answer is, C. General ledger system. 
All accounting journal entries, including the depreciation amounts, are posted to the general ledger, GL, system before preparing the financial statements. Hence, the GL system is the best place to reconcile the depreciation amounts to determine their accuracy in computing and posting. Question 20. Identifying discrepancies between product shipping records and customer sales invoices by line item can affect which of the following accounting information system, AIS, cycles? A. Revenue to cash cycle. B. Human resources and payroll cycle. C. Production cycle. D. Financing cycle. The answer is A. Revenue to cash cycle. The scope of revenue to cash cycle includes sales, accounts receivable, and cash receipts. If what was shipped is not billed or invoiced, the shipper will lose revenue and profits. Question 21. Assume your organization offers payment terms of net 30 days to all customers. Your accounting information system, AIS, reports that your average time to pay across all customers is 33.5 days. Does this result indicate a problem in your expenditure cycle? A. Yes, any average in excess of 30 days indicates perpetual late payments. B. No, this metric does not indicate any problems in the expenditure cycle. C. No, a payment metric that exceeds its target by just over 10% is not a major concern. D. It depends on the organization's risk tolerance threshold for customer payment timing. The answer is B. No, this metric does not indicate any problems in the expenditure cycle. The expenditure cycle refers to transactions that involve disbursements to vendors, not receiving payments from customers. Question 22. What characteristic most influences the degree of impact an accounting information system, AIS, can have on an organization? A. The quality of accounting information the AIS manages. B. The existence of clear and specific work procedures in the accounting system. C. The level of effectiveness of internal control measures. D. The clear definition of responsibilities and authority in an organization. The answer is A. The quality of accounting information the AIS manages. The accuracy and completeness of accounting information determines how much the AIS is trusted and relied upon for analysis accuracy. Question 23. What is the primary role of the accounting information system, AIS, in the value chain? A. Supporting activity. B. Primary activity. C. Aggregating activity. D. Interfacing activity. The answer is A. Supporting activity. An AIS is an integral part of technology, which is one of the four value chain support activities. Question 24. Describe a potential consequence of separate financial and non-financial systems in which the non-financial system allows more activities that require funding than are approved by the financial system. A. Activities and transactions may occur that are not recorded. B. Payments for actions can be tendered without being allocated to the proper budget. C. Activities can fly under the radar and occur prior to financial approval. D. Non-financial system allows activities that are not authorized by the financial system and therefore will not be supported financially. The answer is D. Non-financial system allows activities that are not authorized by the financial system and therefore will not be supported financially. Allowing activities in one system that are not approved for funding in a different system introduces confusion, frustration, and potential denial of payment for unapproved activities. Question 25. Which statement best describes the role of the accounting information system, AIS, in the value chain? A. The AIS should provide pertinent and timely data to primary value chain operations. B. The AIS will increase efficiency of handling an organization's data through automation. C. The AIS provides a valuable link to external information ecosystems. D. The AIS should help an organization adopt and maintain its strategic position. The answer is, D. The AIS should help an organization adopt and maintain its strategic position. The AIS provides a supporting role for the primary activities in the value chain, each of which directly contributes to an organization's ability to achieve and maintain its strategic position.